Animals most often used for preclinical research. Preclinical research is often utilized in order to determine the overall safety of any new drugs being developed that are going to be used on humans. Ever wonder what happens before the medicine is able to be administered to humans? Because it's necessary to test the effectiveness of these new drugs on living creatures, animal models are often used. In order to determine the overall effectiveness of the drug, and because medical device testing can take years to complete, it's truly essential that the animal being considered for medical testing meets any and all necessary requirements. Anytime preclinical research involves the testing of new drugs, a number of different animals are considered in order to determine which animal models will work best for the particular drug being created. How do they make that decision? The decision on which animal to use in a new preclinical research is based on a few different factors. These factors include, but are not limited to, the type of drug being tested, the size of the animal models, and the characteristic of the animal models. For example, medical device testing often includes pacemakers. A pacemaker is a device that helps regulate someone's heartbeat. Because this type of medical device testing requires it to be attached to the animal, smaller animal models like mice simply won't work, even though mice are one of the most utilized animals when it comes to preclinical research. Thus, finding the appropriate animal model for an upcoming preclinical research is going to be essential for the overall success of the research study. What are some common animals used other than mice? Other animals often used for preclinical research studies include rabbits, pigs, sheep, guinea pigs, birds, fish, and ferrets. What about animals that are even more similar to humans? Although dogs, cats, and non-human primates are also used in preclinical research studies, as they have many characteristics that make them similar to humans, these animal models account for less than 1% used in preclinical research studies. Next time you have to go to the doctor, think about what animal may have been used to test your medicine.